On last weekend's episode of 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way, Stephen Johnston's villain status became impossible to deny. First, he admitted that he had never intended to follow through on his promise to delete his social media. Worse, Stephen was also caught flirting for real, this time with Alina's friend. This week, an embarrassed Stephen is trying to win back fans by explaining himself. On last weekend's episode, Alina made a big decision. Her mother, Anna, was heading back home to Russia. Despite a lot of misgivings, red flags, and lingering concerns, Alina did not join her. Alina had decided that, despite everything, she wanted to give Stephen more time. This way, he could prove to her that he's a good person. However, she had her doubts, despite being clearly very determined to marry him despite being only 20 years old. Now on their own, Stephen and Alina decided to turn up the heat literally. Since they can't get hot and heavy due to Stephen's religion's rules, which he sometimes obeys, this was the only way for them to take their clothes off. Viewers got an eyeful. Whether they enjoyed said eyeful varied, this was when Stephen acknowledged that he has some shortcomings. He'd made out with 100 girls, hooked up with a bunch of them, and had sex with several, but Alina can't drink coffee? What Stephen took from this was that he needs to live more strictly by Mormon rules. Alina channeled her inner Elvis, asking for a little less conversation, and a little more action. Stephen always insists certain things about himself and his behavior. But his behavior does not always match those words. That has to change. Speaking of Stephen's behavior matching his words, Alina asked if he'd kept his promise. Previously, after confronting him about his sexual history, his lies, and apparent cheating, Alina asked Stephen to delete his social media. Stephen agreed, at least, he said that he did. Has he followed through? No. In fact, Stephen told the camera that he never actually believed that he would be required to delete his social media as promised. For some reason, he thought that simply verbally agreeing to it would be enough to make Alina feel better. He thought wrong. Stephen clearly has a lot to work out and some soul-searching and prioritizing to do. Meanwhile, what he doesn't know is that Alina is testing him. Her friend Masha has been demanding him to see if he will flirt back, tell her that he has a girlfriend, or ignore her. Stephen is not exactly acing this test of Alina's. It's like he didn't even study. While some of his earlier messages were more innocuous, he has now invited her to come see him in Turkey. He suggested that she bring a swimsuit. That's not please send whole pics, but it's not I have a girlfriend BTW either. Finally, Alina came clean about testing Stephen like this, revealing that he took the bait and flirted back. Stephen tried to turn the tables on Alina for not trusting him, but he proved that he was not trustworthy. He semi-promised to delete his social media, but insisted that he needed time to save photos and that he needed to get to secure Wi-Fi. This is where Steven's Instagram update comes in, posted this week after that mess of an episode. I hope everyone is having a great October. In Turkey it's a great time to go swimming and amp, tanning, he wrote alongside a bit of a thirst trap of himself. Since that scene I still have not created a new Facebook, TikTok, or any other social media, Steven promised. Steven detailed that this is besides Instagram, which she was okay with me keeping. I actually planned on deleting my Instagram, he claimed, but she insisted that Facebook was my problem. Now I want to start being more active, Stephen announced. That may be a hint that either Alina trusts him or that, as many suspect, they have broken up. I'll be creating some new social media in the coming weeks, Stephen revealed. He concluded by asking fans and followers to let me know what kind of content you want to see. The answers to what sort of content people want to see are certainly varied. Some don't want Steven to create any new social media at all, and are sick of what he already has. Others just wish that he'd start an OnlyFans, however improbable that may be for a famous Mormon. Steven often struggles to explain his actions on camera, but this may be because he doesn't fully understand them himself. He lacks impulse control, which is almost diametrically opposed to the skills required to live by strict religious rules of self-denial. If Stephen is ever going to be happy, something might have to change. As for Alina? We hope that she finds a better fit.